Hey everybody, you want to come along with me for a trail run? I think I have shared with you that when the weather is warm enough, my husband and I really love to get out on the trails and do some running. And I have a few in my area that I, I really love and look forward to. And I am headed over to one of those now. My husband's not with me. Um, but I want to talk about wigs and running. So I typically do not wear wigs when I work out, whether I work out by myself or if I'm out in a public space trying to exercise, I do not wear wigs. Um, I just find that it's, um, it's more comfortable for me not to have a wig on when I know I'll be sweating and exerting myself. Um, I don't want to have to worry about a wig. But I do know a lot of you out there enjoy wearing a wig to work out. Um, and if that's what gets you out and gets you moving is the c level of comfort um, that you have a wig on, then I say go for it. I am currently wearing Tony Bratton's Prestigious and Light Blonde. And this is one that I would opt for. If I, if I actually ran in a wig, if I exercised or worked out in a wig, I would choose an inexpensive open cap style that was super breathable and very comfortable. I would choose something from the Tony Bratton line, uh, hairdo, Tresselor has some, I've exercised in my Charlotte many a times and it worked out very well. Having those open wefts on the wig makes a huge difference when you are heating up. Um, it tends to be more ventilated. It releases the heat a little easier. And it's also stretchier and roomier. So as you're moving around and stretching and uh, exerting yourself, an open cap style will move and stretch with you as opposed to those with lace or monofilament. I really don't think I would enjoy having a lace front or a monofilament top or even a hand-tied wig when I'm exercising. First of all, I feel like those features trap heat. Um, they trap moisture and um, I just need to be able to breathe and to stretch a little easier. Plus the fact that we can wear a wig that's very reasonably priced is another plus because I feel like you'll be washing whatever wig you work out in is one that you'll be washing quite a bit. So you don't want to invest a lot of money in a workout wig uh, when you know it's probably not going to last as long because of all the wear and, the, and tear. Another thing is permatease. Um, a lot of open cap styles have a lot of permatease. Permatease is definitely something I would not want in my workout wig because permatease tends to trap heat. Permatease adds uh, volume and makes things feel a little heavier on. They don't, they feel kind of stifled. Um, so that's why I say the Tony Bratton line and the hairdo line are definitely ones that I would look to for an open cap style with very little permatease, lots of stretch, lots of breathability. So I always wear a sweatband or a headband. I stretch it around the wig. I pull it out a little bit on top. I pull it out under a little bit at the ear. And then in the back, I make sure that my nape is pulled out as well. The hair from the wig is pulled out at the nape because that will give it a nice natural look while you're exercising. Um, the headband kind of acts like a little wig, wig grip too. It kind of keeps it on, you know, it keeps that wig from sliding around and looking unnatural and it wicks moisture. Um, that is a, a, just a huge plus for me because I don't want to have to worry about my wig when I'm working out. I want to focus on that workout and I want to get out there and move. And of course I got my water. I have a nice little water bottle that's, um, BPA free so you can get one I think there's one brand now Jean is one and that might be the one I have no that one's a camelback anyhow it is um, BPA free so I don't worry about chemicals leaking into the water I always bring my phone and my little uh, shoulder holder for the phone so I don't have to hold it in my hands as I run and I always listen to something motivating something that picks me up while I'm on my jog um, running to me is, is meditation. I mean, yes, it is exertion and I go at it pretty aggressively. Um, I'm not out there for a stroll. Um, but 
it does help me when I can hear a motivating speech, just a, a speaker that makes you think about things that are important and that's di that may look different for everyone. Um, but I just love that. It's just a beautiful time that I can either have alone or with my husband. Now, when my husband and I come together to the trails, um, I typically send him ahead because I really like, <laughs> sorry, sorry, Bill, but I do enjoy jogging, running by myself. Um, I get that, the full meditation effect and I can work out at my own speed without worrying about having to um, fall back or catch up to my jogging partner. Um, so I'm just about here and I thought you might like to come with me. So I have, I've actually have filmed a clip of this entire trail, just the first leg of it. There's different ones that go back up and through. I think the whole thing is probably about three and a half miles and I get done in about, in about 25 to 30 minutes. So I'm hustling and the terrain is rough. There's no really big hills or anything. Some of it is in the sun. There's an open field at the top of this uh, hilly area and it's out in the, the sun, but most of it is in the woods. The woods are beautiful. The wooded areas are just beautiful. This is considered a city park. I usually don't wear any makeup or any jewelry. Like I said, just have my phone. Okay, so if you wouldn't mind giving me your thoughts on do you work out? in a wig and if you do can you tell me what uh, wig you work out in if you work out and you like long hair um, like I say that you know a bandana with a just a ponytail wig would probably be your best option that way you can stretch your um, you know your sweatband around that and be comfortable and cute at the same time I just don't care for long hair at all um, when I am working out even if it is a, a ponytail anything weighing my head down girls I do not want that <laughs> um, so I am here see if I can give you a quick peek there doesn't seem to be many people here right now looks like I cannot turn this camera around so um, I'll pan around and give you some shots. I'll go on my run and I hope this was helpful and just a little fun discussion about workout wigs. All right, we'll see you soon.